What's up, Woodworking Nation? Welcome to Armor of God Woodworks YouTube page. We stepped out of the shop today and we're going to check out a, a job that is, we're almost finished with it and just want you to see what we've done on it. And it's an outdoor kitchen. It's got all the bells and whistles in it. Uh, we got a pool house that we've, you know, redone, put some cabinets in it and stuff like that. And we want you to be right here with us as we do a walk through and show you what we did and we'll show you what all the bells and whistles are on this place. Um, and so I'm standing in front of my trailer and this is one of our latest logos that we have. I think it turned out great. And uh, give me a thumbs up if you like it. And, you know, I think this thing is, is awesome. And, you know, whenever people see this thing rolling down the road, they know what's going on. So let's take a look at this job and we'll walk up there and I'll walk you through it and show you everything we did on it. And uh, hope you enjoy it. All right, so this is our outdoor kitchen project. And whenever we came here, that uh, pavilion was not there. There was a pool here, but you know, we've torn it out and redone it. Uh, we did a gun out pool and it's got sprayers and waterfalls. You know, it's got all the, all the really cool stuff in it. Uh, we got this really nice travertine tile that goes all the way around it. So we eliminated the cool deck and decided to do it, you know, a little bit upscale. We've got this big stone wall right here that has the waterfall on the other side of it. And so this brick wall that is right here, it was there originally, but it had like it had this big arch that went over where the stairs are and everything. And so we just, we sawed it down, leveled it out and put this nice set of stairs to come up to the pavilion. And there was nothing behind this at the time. So it was just, it was just woods back here. And we got some guys around here finishing some stuff up, putting in some speakers and whatnot. And, uh, just trying to get it ready for, uh, you know, having some entertainment out here. Um, so we've got this big stone fireplace right here. And all that stone came from Tennessee. There'll be a big screen TV up there, big flat. And uh, so that's a wood burning fireplace. And then you come around to this side and we've got a big gas burning fireplace. So this will have gas logs in it. And they're, you know, it's, it's going to be awesome. It's going to keep it nice and warm. And, you know, it's supposed to be kind of cold this weekend. So I'm hoping that for their get together, it'll be just right. So we got a sink over here with, you know, a little bit of storage and got this really nice built-in grill. And these are all outdoor stainless cabinets and they're, they've got a stone facade on them. Stain, the same stone that's on the fireplace is uh, on these cabinets. And so right here, we've got a round flat top griddle and then we got a two burner uh, cooker right here. So there's plenty of stuff out here in this outdoor kitchen to be able to cook whatever you want. Now up here, we've got, that's a heater and we've got four of these in this building. Um, so we got one there, there's one right there and then there's two on the opposing side um, there and there. So we got four total, got these really cool fans with wing tips on the side. The tops of the beams have accent lighting on top of them. All these beams are made out of cypress and they're stained with a cabinet stain to make it look like it's, you know, kind of aged out and it's been here a long time. Uh, so we're, you know, we're just finishing this project up. Got some nice uh, recessed LED lights there with bronze covers. And so then on this side, we got an ice maker, little refrigerator, a sink, and all that's just storage on down there. And uh, the end will hold the routers and, you know, any kind of equipment they need to run their TVs. So got this awesome fireplace. I mean, that thing is absolutely beautiful. All the stone came from Tennessee. Um, so, you know, it's, uh, it's the real deal and it just turned out really nice. So we'll be able to burn some logs in that this weekend and check that out. And uh, so the brick that are on here are old Savannah Gray and uh, they're a, pretty much a timeless brick. And so we've got a, you know, the brick goes all the way around the building and it's just, it's a, a parapet wall, if you will. And so it's just laid up. And then whenever you come up the steps, got a nice set of steps up the back. And then we got a beautiful herringbone pattern with these old Savannah grays. Um, and this runs all the way through the center. And we're just about finished with this project. Very excited to be finished with it. And uh, very excited about the outcome. The ceiling up here is a one by six V edge tongue of groove pine. And so this is pretty much the finished product. And of course this stone over here 
is the exact same as the other fireplace. Whoops, stepped on some bubble wrap. And then we've got a little bit of board and batten accent up there in the top. So they got these extra heaters just in case it gets really cold. But anyways, that's pretty much it for the outdoor kitchen. Just wanted to check it out. Got these little lanterns on the outside. And uh, so we'll go check out the pool house. All right, so this is the pool house. And so whenever we came in here, you know, there really wasn't a whole lot going on. Um, it was basically bare walls. And we changed out the windows, put some really nice Pella units in here. And, uh, you know, they're the auto crank, uh, super nice casement windows. And we, it, it originally had the old Savannah gray brick floor. We got it covered up. Um, still got some cleaning up going on in here. And uh, so we got the floors covered up, but you can see it's a beautiful brick floor um, throughout this whole place. These are the cabinets that we built and installed. Um, so the color is Sherwin Williams Hinting Blue. Um, it really it really pops in this room, looks good. We got our famous end panels on here that turned out gorgeous. And we got the matching one down there. Um, and everything in here, this is like a, kind of like an, a studio apartment or something. It's made for people to come in and enjoy their time, but not move in the place. So the appliances are a little bit smaller. We got a 24 inch uh, range, 24 inch microwave, and then we got a little 18 inch dishwasher and a 30 inch uh, refrigerator. All GE appliances. Um, I think the fits and the finishes all turned out great. The countertops are a quartz. I'm not 100% sure what color it is, but it's a white with a gray swirl. And then of course we've got our beautiful island that we put in here um, with a nice framed out uh, back panel on it. And the end kind of matches the back. And so if we come around to this side, let's see if I can get a better angle. There's a lot of drawers and storage. And for a small place like this, that's what they were looking for was plenty of storage. Um, so we've got 13 drawers and then we've got a trash can right in the middle. And it's our dual 35 quart trash can unit. And of course it's soft closed. You know, we don't put anything in here that doesn't soft close. So, we got that and these really cool little pools that are on here. Um, pure chrome and they're made by, I think they're made by Brainerd. Um, so anyways, that's the kitchen. And I think the cabinets turned out great. The whole job turned out great. We've got a TV coming up here and we're waiting on the telecommunications guys to get that hooked up. And so this is just about ready to move in. And they've got, uh, of course we got a digital thermostat. This is the bedroom area. So, you know, it's just enough room to come in and maybe stay for the weekend or something. Cool ceiling fan, LED recess lighting, and then we got a closet with a rod, and then we'll have all of our electronics and stuff, and our IT guys are hooking all this stuff up, and we'll have like a little information board right there that takes care of all the whatevers they need. And so this is the bathroom. And so we did this vertical, I think it's a six by 24 tile. And we laid it in there vertical, got a couple shelves in there for storage, for your soap and your shampoo and all that. Um, really nice fixtures to clean that up and finish it off. And a really cool floor. That floor is awesome and I love the way that drain turned out. That's a really neat looking drain. And so that shower turned out great. Uh, got to get the glass guys in here to get the glass put in and got a little towel hook there and then a little mirror towel bar a little hand towel rack and then this cabinet is a regatta blue it's made by it's a sherwin williams color and it's got the same uh hardware on it as the ones in the kitchen same top same hardware uh and it's got a chrome faucet and an undermount sink and that's a really cool little undermount vessel sink there and of course we got our fancy panel on the end with our towel holder or our toilet paper holder. So that's pretty much the pool house. And I mean, you know, that's a walkthrough of what we did on this job. And I think it turned out great. The uh, homeowners are really ecstatic. Um, and so that color, that hinting blue, that's a really, really pretty color. And the finish turned out great. And I couldn't be more satisfied with it. And, you know, I just wanted to bring you on the job and let you see 
what things look like once we get them out and get them installed and you know what it takes to get it here and what it takes to make it look good and you can see everything is centered on that sink on the window and it's just perfect so anyways if you like the video give us a thumbs up comment any suggestions any ideas um you know we love to hear from y'all means a lot to us if you take the time to watch our videos and it means a lot more to us whenever you take the time to comment and tell us it looks cool or you know any any kind of cool idea that you have that maybe we missed out on so anyways leave your comments below give us a thumbs up like subscribe to armor god woodworks and we'll catch you on the next one